Okay, well, I'll get the fuel rail off. These bolts here, here and here, take the fuel rail off. Free. Look at that thing there is loose. Oh, well, this should pop out with a pry bar or lift up on it and pop the injector o rings. I think. Should come out just nice and easy like that. Okay, taking it, this should pull up through here. All right. Boy, those are some bad, cr cruddy injectors. Did the other side, but right here is a is a coolant drain plug for the engine. Got a lot. There's our coolant catch pan. 15 millimeter. Pretty full on both sides. And there's all two cool. Okay. Quite a bit came out. I'll show you the other side. Both sides had a lot, lot of it come out. Here's the other side. Right there, we left the left the plug out, but other side, the coolant plugs right there. Taking off the valve covers. They're uh, eight millimeter. Just four bolts. and valves and everything. Yeah, what? 
Let me know if you want me to rush you off. Okay. There's the rocker arms and valves. There's this 10 millimeter bolt for the lower intake. from the engine. here with a ratchet wrench. The end ones. Yeah. You're putting these bolts these, in? These two end ones here and over there has to be done with a, yeah. a wrench.
Take these out here. There's the valve cover gaskets. Hold it right here. Yes. Right Get the there. sensor. I think it. Cam position sensor is hitting it. Now there it is. Okay, we got it. There it goes. Oh, right here. Just enough to loosen it up. 13 millimeter. There's a little slip bracket. That's it. Okay. That's the intake. Okay, getting ready to take the rocker arms off. That's an impact in an 8 millimeter. There's one rocker arm. Well, we just took out all these, uh, broke all the bolts free. If you were going to do this engine and put it back together, you would want to make sure that this rocker arm and this push rod go right here. So you'd really want to either pay attention to where you lay all this stuff and make sure you know or mark it somehow. Me, what I do is I, I like to take a, like a cardboard box or something and cut holes in it and keep the push rods in order. But... If you were rebuilding this engine for real, you'd want to make sure everything you take out goes back in the same place it came from. That's just good, uh, good practice. They make and sell all kinds of trays and things you could buy to keep everything in order. Uh, so just take your pick of how you want to do it. But if you're going to put this back together, you want to make sure they go back where they came from. We're not doing that. We're just tearing this engine down to look at it and see what was making noise if we can find something. And that's it. So we're just gonna pop take these all off. Here's a little these are the uh what are these called push rod guides it says push rod guide this whole plate assembly fits in there But this would be a necessary step if you were going to remove the head because once the rocker arms and push rods are out of the way, here's all your head bolts. Well, not all of them, but some of them.
Now that we have all the rocker arms and push rods out of the way, it gives you access to these head bolts.